Nyata University as hundreds of students and the varsity management converged at Bishop Square grounds and lit candles in the remembrance of 11 students killed in a tragic road accident along the busy Nairobi Mombasa Road. Elizabeth Etienu with the details. <laughs> of darkness has been hovering around the Kenyatta University fraternity for five days now since the demise of 11 students killed in a road accident at Maungu area tight at Aveta County. On Friday night, students at the institution lit candles in remembrance of the departed souls. It takes God's guidance. It takes a strong heart for you to get to heal from this process. As leaders, as students, as the management, we shall overcome this. Tears flowed freely as hundreds of students lined up to view the bodies. Some tell us they have lost friends who became family. <laughs> Like most of the times I the the parts of Nyayo and interacting with her I can say that she was humble. Kujaba kwa sababu ya Mike. Mike alikuwa friend yangu. Amekuwa na tupiga picha huko. Unfortunately ametuacha. Another person mwenye alikuwa rafiki yangu hapa ni Kingsley. We were in the same school, Bokoli Boys High School. But by the lack of God, at least, Anna and Elena Matibabu. The incident has left everyone at the university wounded, but they remain optimistic that they will overcome the storm. The spirit of comradeship, the spirit of us as the youth, shall forever remain strong because I do believe we are the future of a nation. So, as we mourn, let us mourn in togetherness, in unity. And in love. Kenyatta University's Vice Chancellor Paul Wainaina has emphasized the importance of solidarity and support within the university fraternity during such difficult and trying times, adding that 18 other students are recuperating at a hospital in Nairobi. However, two are in critical condition. We have two difficult cases among those who are there. And again, we are saying we will do everything possible to make sure that um, they are taken care of. For now, these students stay united as they recount the horrific incidents that saw the university suspend learning for three days. A memorial service will be held on Sunday this week at the university grounds. Elizabeth Atieno, TV 47, Nairobi.